Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Cody, man. Back with another one. What's up, you guys? What's happening? Hopefully, everybody's doing well, having a great day, staying safe, blessed, and all those good things above, okay? Man, do I got another one for you guys. I ain't seen in a minute. I've been working on some things in the background. If you guys don't know what I do, you guys, man. I said I wasn't gonna I said I was gonna be done with with Cody you guys but I'm not you know what I mean um we got another build coming out it's gonna be coming out within the next couple more weeks two three more weeks so if you guys belong to my telegram group I'll be doing reviews on bills so you guys come there you guys can um, enjoy yourself there's a lot of people there we have fun um, so come on enjoy and um, welcome you guys if you come through which is listed in the description so but anyways you guys what we talking about here today we talking about Lutris you guys if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up and subscribe go ahead and do that right now so you guys don't miss nothing else that I put up okay we talking about Lutris you guys this is one of the best applications for Linux that you can use to play PC games okay retro games um, any you know any kind of games it basically will load okay I, I'm almost assuming you know what I mean I haven't really really tested it to his whole um, extent you know what I mean but um, I do know it plays some games okay but um uh, yeah, I want to show you guys how to take Windows Steam, okay, the version of Windows Steam, not not this, not the Steam version of Linux, the Steam version of Windows, okay, and install it on here so you can be able to play your Windows games right here on Linux using Steam for Windows, okay. Um, there's other things you can do um, you can you can install PC games on here and everything and what this guy as you see it wine in the in effect works in the background of Lutris okay wine does so it has a big a big big play of the whole thing of Lutris okay so I'm going to show you guys how to install it today and um, get through this okay but this is what Lutris looks like. It has games, recent, favors, and categories. Um, here's some of your sources like GOG, um, Epic Game Store, EA Apps, um, Ubisoft Connect. And here's some of the runners that you can you can use: Flatpak, Linux, Steam, and Wine. Okay, so um, this is what we're gonna do. See this big plus up here, you guys, in the corner. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on that plus. Okay. Click on the plus and it'll bring you to this right here. And you guys, you can find Lutris inside the application store, inside your Linux distributor um, operating system, or you can find it on Flatpak um, on their site. Okay. And download it from there. So, um, you got options right here. You can search Lutris, Lutris, uh, Lutris website for installers, okay? Or you can install a Windows game from the executable, or you can, uh, or you can install from a local um, install script, okay? Or you can import a ROM um, that is known to Lutris, okay? Or you can add locally installed games to here. Like if you had um, some games that you, you know, from like Steam, whatever, you can just, you know, you can add them right here. But what we focus on is right here, install a Windows game from executable, okay? This is what we're gonna do today, okay? So we're gonna click on that. And what it wants you to do is, um, down here, you wanna leave this the same, 
okay it's windows 10 64 bit default and you want to leave this as system okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put in a type here we're going to put steam okay so we're going to give it a name and then we're going to go up here and we're going to click install okay so it says wine setup files and to install so we're going to click on install okay <clears throat> and then it's this is where it's going to install the home folder for the games okay and you can also create um, a desktop so let's go ahead and just click create desktop okay um, so um, all you have to do is go up here and click continue again okay so now it wants you to select a setup file okay an executable file like you know for windows okay so I do have one you guys and um, it's right here in my downloads folder it's right here in its steam executable file okay so I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna go down here in the corner and click OK okay now that's set up inside here and you got the file right there so let's go up here to the corner and click install okay so now what it's doing is installing the game data for it okay and wine is configuring everything for the file for um, the steam the steam file and the folder and everything so it says wine is configuring it and it says it's being updated so it says please wait so we're going to go ahead and um, just wait until this gets through here shouldn't take that that much longer and it's very very easy you guys it's very nice and you can like if you got like some old games um, that you know you got put away you can also you know just uh, install them you could probably install them through here too as long as you got the file and everything for it okay so we're just gonna wait until this is done should only take a minute or two so I'll go ahead and um, stop this and I'll uh, be back when it's when it's ready for the next step okay you guys so as you guys can see um, <clears throat> it's installing the game data on here this is what um, this is what wine does in the background it's doing all this right here okay just to install um, the Steam uh, executable file, okay? Because it has to do all this because there's, you know, there's um, different uh, things, you know, with especially with, you know, with uh, Linux and then with Windows. So there's different things that it has to install just to get it, you know, to a point where um, you can use it, okay? So as you can see right here. It's done installing it, you guys. Um, all I have to do is sign in, put my password in here, and then um, good to go. So let me go ahead and let me pause this for a minute so I can put my password and username in there, and then we'll get back. Okay, you guys. So um, I go ahead and put my username and password in there. It's, it's loading my user data. Okay. So it's getting ready to start it up. <clears throat> so now it's gonna go blank for a minute because it's gotta do a few more things and then it'll it'll pop up, okay? so should be coming up here any second
<clears throat> and you guys, you know, I'm using a, a virtual machine, so it's a lot better when you do have it on your on your PC. It'll work a lot faster. Okay, because the virtual machine kind of slows it down a little bit because you're in the background and you got you know a lot of stuff in the background. But when it's just depending on your PC, you guys, it'll be a lot better. But I just want to show you guys how to install it and how it works you know what i mean so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to exit this out it's going to be a little bit slow because i'm using it on a virtual machine okay exit that out. so as you guys can see if i go here inside my library let's see for it wait wait for it to pop up still ain't popped up yet So as you guys can see, here is Steam, okay? Here's my little library, you guys. You guys see my little library that I play. So you you know, you could just go from here and um, install your games from here. And, um, and I'm almost for sure uh, that it will add the games inside your Lutris library, okay? So you be good to go. Okay, but um, so it's doing some more things here. Installing game data. I don't know the border. I wanted to go through the whole thing so you guys can see. But it did Steam just come up. Where does Steam go? Oh, there it goes. So you guys, it does. It goes through a, a, a process of a whole lot of stuff that it has to install before um, before it can actually get um, Steam like for Windows on your PC, okay? Let me close this out. See, it's acting slow on me. <laughs> I wish that I, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna start making videos from Linux itself. I'm probably gonna dual boot so I can so I can really really show you, you know what I mean, how quick it is. Cause this, this, uh, virtual machine it's it's a whole lot small lot lot um, slower than it than it will be when it's on your computer okay because I've had steam on my um, I mean I had Linux on my computer a lot a lot of times and I installed this but anyways you guys um, here is steam it'll sh it'll start popping up here in a little bit but anyways you guys it's very very easy to install these things and you guys, Linux, as I can, as I told you guys, Linux, you guys, is very, very nice, okay? And it's very, very secure, and it does do what it's supposed to do, okay? It's, it's doing a couple more things that it has to do anyways, but um, as you guys can see, it did came up, okay? But um, very, very nice to have especially when you know when you have it on, on Linux you know some other operating system that that you know um, is you know uh, meant to you know play just Linux games <clears throat> but it can be playing as um, Windows games too so yeah but um, this is how you guys get started okay and it's very very nice once all this gets once all this gets popped up and it starts working, you know you guys will be good to go okay so that's how you guys um, start I'll show you guys maybe like um, something else with it but there's not too much that I can do on here on YouTube so um, but that's basically I want to show you guys how to start you know Windows Steam inside of Linux so let me see if I can click on my library it did come up before But anyways, you guys, it'll pop up eventually, but there it goes. Um, 
but that's how you guys get it installed that's how you guys you know get everything going you know played so you guys enjoy this i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial you guys have a good one you guys stay safe stay blessed and hey i'll definitely see you guys on next one peace out